In this video, we show you how to change or view your mobile data usage on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now, if you own a device like this, it's quite likely that you've got mobile internet enabled or packet data uh, enabled on your device or on the contract that you have with it. And it may be that you actually have a limit to how much data you have a month. And you may want to monitor this or ensure that you do not go over that limit. So from the home screen, click Menu, click Settings, and you'll see an option for data usage. Tap into this. Now, first of all, you'll see that we've got mobile data up here. We can slide this icon across to switch the connection off or across to switch it back on. Green indicates that it's switched on. Now, if we have a mobile data limit, we can set the limit on the phone so it stops the data when we hit that limit. So at the moment, we've got no mobile data limit because I'm actually on an unlimited internet connection on this phone. But if I was to set a data limit, I can tap that box and it tells me that it'll switch off data once I hit that limit, unless I come and make any changes. So I click OK, and we now see on the graph that it's actually specified my limit. So it's got a warning limit at 2 gig, and then at 5 gig is the current set mobile data limit. Now I can tap on the graph and I can scroll up and down and adjust this like so. I can also click on the number and go and change the amount of megabytes to what I choose. Now a lot of data tariffs, and this may not apply to you, are actually at about 500 meg, so considerably lower than uh, what is actually shown here. So you can change that like so and you can also change the warning so if yours is sort of 500 meg you can say at 250 you get a warning to tell you uh, when you're getting close to hitting that limit and that is of course an option for you but if you have no limit you can untick uh, that like so now you can still get a warning when you're hitting certain data but that's entirely up to you where you set that limit you see the graph changes the scale according to what you've set. You can also set your data usage cycle. So you may have a daily, weekly or monthly data allowance. And you can click in here to actually change the cycle. So I can change the cycle here and I can specify on um, what day of the month um, that I want it to start. So if your contract runs from the first of the month, each month, you want to set it from the first. But if your contract runs um, from the 10th, then you may want to change this to the 10th. And you can then set that um, to you, to your specific conditions. And then you'll actually see on the graph your data usage. So I haven't been using this device for too long. But what it's actually telling me that so far I've used 85 megabytes of data. But I can actually change the scale so I could get down to specific dates. So you can now see that between the 7th and 9th of June I used 6.99 megabytes of data. If I change it again, just on the 6th of June alone, I used 69.18 meg of data. Scrolling through and it all changes. And as that changes, it also tells you underneath how much you've used. So I can expand that out and it splits the usage down by certain applications. So you can see the Google Play Store has been the main use here and then it splits it down to all the different applications. Now bear in mind, if you're connecting over Wi-Fi, your data limit is not impacted. This is only through the mobile phone network itself. And it's from here that you can set, configure and view your monthly, weekly or daily usage allowance. And it's a great way of controlling the amount of spend on mobile data and avoid you hitting any of your limits or being hit with excessive bills.